Today's episode is going to be about crutches. Before I forget, let me show you these crazy crutches that you can ski on that I'm definitely going to get a pair of. Check this out. This is the ski crutch I was talking about. Oh my god, and I can walk on it like this. Kareth and Sarah asked if I wanted to go to the size 6 shop. Fuck yeah. I'm getting myself a pair of these. I'm gonna try skiing in December or January. I don't know when they go skiing, I've not been skiing for like 10 years. Anyway, let's go to the shop. All right, let me take you on a tour. These are ice axe crutches. Sarah climbed Kilimanjaro on crutches and she had these so that if she fell backwards she could like into the ice to stop her from falling. Look at these. They've literally got a bike, a bike spring on them. <laughs> I think she used these to, where did Sarah? On the Camino to Santiago walk which is like 800 kilometer trek in Spain. Something that's like been on my mind a bit recently is given that I'm probably going to be on crutches forever is how that's going to affect the rest of my body um, like my arms, my shoulders, my wrists yeah <laughs> I was basically like, to Sarah rather, have you had any other negative effects of being on crutches for so long? I mean, she said no. Um, had a surgery for carpal tunnel on her wrists. But apart from that, she seems in pretty good nick. And I mean, for me, that's great news. Hello. Dog. Um, so that's something that I've been really worried about, you know, in a year or two when I'm really enjoying all these races and that then another part of my body gives way. Because if, like, if I injure my, my arm or my right leg or my wrist, like I'm in a wheelchair, like I'm done. Yeah. 